And we're actually kind of drawing our inspiration from this book that I have called Eat Dessert First. <laughs> so we're just kind of inviting this lightheartedness, just like Finney over there on the mat. <laughs> Invite some lighthearted energy into our day. And so our inspiration for today from our Eat Dessert First is sing into your hairbrush. Sing into your hairbrush. So as we connect with our breath, we can just sit, feel the breath in the body. Just imagine singing into that hairbrush. Whether we're getting ready to go to bed, brushing our hair, maybe midday hairbrush, I don't know. <laughs> getting ready to go to dinner or whatever. Just sing into your hairbrush. This freedom of expression, just expressing that soul, just kind of letting our guard down. That's what we can do today in our yoga practice is just be open and flowing and let some guard down. Knowing there's no right or wrong. Offering a few more deep breaths in and out. We roll the shoulders back. Bring the shoulders over the hips, shine the heart forward, maybe tuck the chin towards the chest just a little bit. And exhale, just breathing in and out. And now let's find a mudra with our hands. So we're going to just fold our hands together like this, but then bring the index fingers out to touch. So our thumbs are still together, but index fingers are out. So from the side, it looks like that. And then on straight like that, it's like this. So that's gonna be our mudra for today. You could even bring the fingers out if you want, but those index are together. Let's bring that to our heart space and just breathe in a few times in and out with our Kali mudra. One more in breath and out breath. Then we'll open our eyes if they're closed and we're gonna come right up to standing. So let's come to stand maybe at the front of our mat or maybe in the middle of our mat. And then as we stand, let's have our Kali Mudra. So maybe we can hold it in front of our heart. Let's breathe in, breathe out. As we exhale, feel those feet sink into the earth. And our next inhale, let's bring our hands above the head. So the feet are grounded, hands are above the head. And we'll exhale, just bend over to the right. Send the hips out to the left, making maybe an upside down capital L, or like a crescent moon shape. We'll inhale, come back to center. Exhale over the other side. Really nice job, guys. Grounding into the earth with that outer foot. So that right foot grounds, the right hip and it juts out and we reach for the side wall with this mudra with those fingertips. We'll inhale back to center, exhale over to the other side, just for a couple breaths in and out, offering this opening in the side body. And exhale over through the middle to the other side. Good. And then we'll inhale, bring the hands above the head again. Exhale, sigh, release that mudra, open and close the hands, then flip the hands down to the side, maybe rolling the wrists as you go. And this is also a wrist-free practice. We've had some people mention wrist pain, and then we have some variations in our vinyasa for if we have low back pain, so we have some people with low back pain. Let's roll our wrists out, and then bring our arms up as we roll our wrists, so kind of rolling the wrists as we bring the arms up. And I make jokes a lot about different yoga poses you can do at your desk, but this is actually one you could do at your desk. <laughs> so let's bring our arms down. Moving the wrists, rolling the wrists. And let the hands go. Release the fingertips. Let the hands be floppy and lazy. And we'll roll our necks a couple times, one direction. In the other direction.
And let's inhale one more time, bring our arm to the sky, the neck back to center. Good, and then we'll fold forward, let the arms come out or to the heart center. Exhale, fold, Uttanasana. Forward fold. Exhale, it's going to squat down and come to a seated position. And we're going to do a seated cat cow. Let's be mindful of our breath and move with our breath. So we'll sit with our shoulders over our hips and then we'll inhale round the spine. So the shoulders come forward, we round the back, the hands can be on the knees or out in front. And then inhale, tilt that pelvis. Lift the heart, lift the head to the head, and the stacks over the shoulders, the fingertips kind of coming to the shot, the shin to the, the thighs. Exhale around. Send the shoulders forward and then down. And you walk the hands forward, reach the fingertips far for that back stretch. And inhale as we round that low belly and bring the back. And the chest up, the fingertips kind of slide across the floor. One more time, let's exhale around, the hands go forward, the back. It's a nice arch. And then we'll inhale, lift the heart, lift the head, the fingertips come back towards the legs. And then we'll inhale, reach the hands to the sky. Find the mudra with those index fingers out, fingers are interlaced. And then we'll just exhale over to one side. Inhale, bring it into the center. Exhale, out to the other side. Try to keep those sits bones down. And then inhale, back to center. Exhale, let's release our hands to the side. Bring our knees to the sky, feet to the floor. And then we're gonna rock back for our boat pose. Namasana, maybe lift the heels just a tiny bit. And we'll exhale, bring our hands together. Find our mudra again. So the fingers point out, the thumbs can point up. And maybe we gently bring those ankles and heels up a little bit higher. And now with our hands in our mudra, go over to the right. It's a gentle twist, but keep the heart kind of forward. The arms go to the other side. Exhale through the middle towards the left side. Hearts forward. The arms kind of reach. Now back to the middle. Let's exhale, lower the heels. Just a little, little, little pause with the heels hovering. Exhale, bring those heels to the floor. Kind of sit up. Keep those hands reached out. Inhale, reach the hands above the head. Create some length as we press into the floor with the six bones reached towards the sky with the fingertips. Now exhale, bring those hands down so their wrists are maybe in line with the shoulders. Exhale, lean back just a bit. Inhale, lift the heels. And now let's exhale, twist the heart and the shoulders towards the right. Maybe. Far to the right, maybe not so far, but just a little twist. Exhale, bring everything to center. Inhale when you get there. Now let's exhale, twist towards the other side, the heart, the shoulders towards the left. One more breath in. Exhale, back to center. Lower down the heels with control. Then exhale, let the hands go. You can bring the hands to the side. We'll bring the feet. Or the knees out to the right side and float them over to the left. Kind of waking up that low back. As if our boat pose didn't do that enough. Really good job. And now from here, we have an option for wrist free, or you can bring the wrist into the equation. We're going to come into reverse tabletop. So our hands can either be on the floor or we can come onto the forearms. If you're on your forearms, you're just gonna kind of lift those hips just a little bit, engage the core. If your hands are on the earth, not the forearms, then lift all the way up into reverse tabletop. We're gonna hold there for a couple breaths. Then exhale, let's lower the sit bones, lower the seat with control, and then lift up. Maybe coming into Navasana in between. Exhale, lower the heels, and then come back down onto the hands or onto those forearms. Press the feet into the earth. Lift those hips up. We'll pause with the core engaged. The shoulders are active. Inhale and exhale. Exhale, lower the hips, lower the seat. 
and then come up to Navasana. Find the mudra. Exhale over to the right. Shoulders and chest. Good job, guys. Over to the left. Shoulders, chest, heart. Back to center. Now extend those legs all the way. The knees aren't bent. Maybe point those fingers towards the toes. Yeah. As high as you can or low as you want. One more breath in. Exhale, bend the knees with control. Float the heels down. Release the mudra. Come onto the forearms or the hands. Press the feet into the floor. Press up, reverse tabletop. Whatever variation you're doing this morning. Inhale. And exhale, float the hips down. Let's cross the feet and rise all the way up to stand again. Exhale, you can fold forward on the way up. You can bend the knees and come all the way up to stand. And then release the hands down to the side. Good. You can shake anything out. I know some of you guys are just waking it up. You can bring the hands. Yeah, I don't know what these are called. I call them kidney slaps in my classes. <laughs> so take a couple kidney slaps. No better way to wake up than a good old slap to the kidney. And then we'll come to stillness. So just slowly kind of let the body be still. And then bend the knees, plant the feet into the earth. Let's inhale to bring our arms above the head. We find our mudra, Kali mudra. And now exhale, plant the left foot, step the right foot back for Asha Chandrasana. We'll be here for a breath. Our Kali Mudra is supportive of expression. So maybe we bring that mudra down in front of the mouth, in front of the face, and we sing into that mudra as if it were our hairbrush. <sighs> Just let yourself go. <laughs> Inhale, bring the arms up. Now let's exhale, fold forward. Lower that right knee as you come down. So the right knee comes down. Now bring the hands down. Just to the neck, so we come onto our forearms for dolphins. So come onto the forearms, curl the toes under, lift the hips up and back. Dolphin pose. Ardha Pincha Mayurasana. So we're on our forearms. You're welcome to come into downward facing dog if you want, but for our wrist free practice, we can come into our dolphin pose. One breath here. Now exhale, we can lower down the knees and then send the legs long, coming into our forearm plank. So our hips lift, maybe our elbows are underneath the shoulders, the heart hovers over the floor. We can always lower down the knees. We haven't done a forearm plank in a while. The knees are always welcome to be on the floor. One more breath here. And now exhale, lower down those knees if they're not already. Lower down the tops of the legs, the tops of the feet, and shine the heart forward for Sphinx pose. Now, if you have some low back pain, you can bring those elbows forward. So they don't have to be completely underneath the shoulders. Bring them forward and just lift that heart enough, just a little bit. But shine the heart forward and imagine creating space between the collarbones, space between the shoulders. And now energetically pull those elbows towards the hips. So the arms engage, breathe here, inhale. Now exhale, bring those elbows back close under the shoulders. If they were in front, curl the toes under and come back to dolphin. Walk the feet kind of towards the elbows. And now let's bend our knees a little bit and then straighten the legs, kind of waking up the backs of the legs and our dolphin. Breathing in and out. And now let's find dolphin pose and be here for a deep breath in. Exhale, breathe out. Now lower down those knees. And now send the legs back and find forearm plank. We'll inhale here. Knees can lift, hips lift, or the knees can lower down. There's no right or wrong. Let's inhale. Now exhale, lower down in the Sphinx pose. The legs are long, tops of the legs on the floor. The pubic bone presses into the earth. The elbows pull towards the hips, lift the heart. Exhale. Now breathe in. 
Exhale, curl the toes under. Let's lift up to dolphin pose. So walk the feet kind of towards those elbows once you rise up on the forearms. Really good job. Really nice. Inhale. Now exhale, lower down those knees. Come to the fingertips or the palms. And we're going to step our feet forward between the hands, the right foot, then the left. Bend the knees. Exhale, rise up to stand. And then bring the hands to the heart. Let those arms rest. Find our Kali Mudra with the index fingers out. Maybe close the eyes and feel into yourself and what would you want to express? Is it in words or is it in creativity like a painting or some sewing, or some acting or singing? But what would your expression be that your Kali Mudra can support? What would you let go of and sing into that hairbrush? Let's inhale. Exhale, ground that left foot. We're going to come into warrior three, but keep that mudra. So we're going to hinge forward at the waist and the right foot up and back. The heart can be parallel with the floor. That right back leg can lift really high. Maybe it's low, but send your fingers out if you can, your arms with that mudra. And now we're going to exhale, bring our elbows and our knees to meet, or we're going to stand. So it's a variation of kind of our tabletop rounding the back, but we're in warrior three. And then we're going to exhale, extend the arms and the legs out. Pause in your warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Now exhale, elbows to knee. Let's pause and curl right here, ladies. Inhale. Now exhale, release the hands to the ground. Come into standing splits, send that right leg high to the sky, or maybe it's not so high. We're going to fold forward. Now exhale, bring that right foot to meet the left. And pause with Uttanasana. Good. Now exhale, send that left foot back. We're going to rise up right to our crescent, bring the fingertips together, and then we're going to go straight to warrior three. So press into that standing leg, right foot grounds, arms forward, left leg back. Good job, ladies. And now bring that elbow and knees, or knee, elbow, was it knee to knee? And then exhale, extend. And exhale, knee to elbows. And now inhale, extend it nice and long. Fingertips reach, heel reaches back, no matter how high that leg is. Find some length from the heel to the fingertips. And now exhale, bring those hands to the floor, send that left leg high or maybe low, but standing splits. Inhale. And now exhale, bring that left foot to meet the right, and let's hang here in our forward fold. Uttanasana. And exhale. We'll breathe in. Exhale, step that left foot back, bend that right knee, and we'll inhale, rise up for Ashtanyasana, crescent lunge. Really nice, ladies. Find that mudra if you can. Press into that right foot, the ball of the left foot, lift through the hips. Now exhale, bring that mudra to the heart space. Maybe close the eyes, check in. What would you express into that hairbrush microphone? Exhale, bring the hands high again. Now let's bring that left foot forward just enough so we can bring that heel down and then straighten that front leg for pyramid pose. Lift the heart, lift those hips, then sink into both feet. Now exhale, fold forward, go halfway. You can bend that front knee a lot or a little if you need to. Engage that core. Remember that boat pose that we warmed up with. Feel those boat pose cores. And then we'll exhale, fold. Maybe the thin fingertips of the index fingers point towards the toe as we humbly bow over this front leg. Really good, inhale. Exhale. Now engage that belly button to the core. 
belly button draws in. If you notice that hip kind of shifting to the right, kind of bring yourself back to the center, bring your core and your hips to the center. Now engage your core. Let's inhale, bend in that front knee as we lift halfway. Feel the core warm. Exhale, pause in here halfway, engage the core. Now inhale, rise all the way up. Yes, exhale, release the hands, keep that front leg straight, put the hands down. And now step forward with the left foot. Shake out the legs, maybe you can give a little rabbit punch to the side or to those little hamstrings. And now ground to the left foot, step the right foot back, crescent lunge, we'll inhale, lift the arms. Find that hairbrush microphone above the head and Kali Mudra. And feel our foot ground, the ball of the right foot ground. Create some space between the shoulders and the ears. Inhale. Exhale, maybe sigh. And now let's step that right foot forward just enough so we can bring that heel down. Straighten that front leg. Inhale, engage the core. And then exhale, hinge at the waist, pull forward. Breathe halfway. And exhale, bow all the way, fingertips pointing towards that big toe. Keep the hips and the core in the middle of the mat. They tend to float to the left. Bring it back to the middle. Let's inhale. And exhale. Now inhale, let's rise halfway. Bend that knee if you need to to help yourself up. Float the heart. The heart hovers. We're parallel with the floor with the heart and the chest. No problem, it's okay if you come all the way up. And then we'll exhale, come all the way up. And then sigh as we release the hand, maybe feel that core with a little less activity as we lower the arms. That side body, a little less engagement with the arms down. Now exhale, step up to the front of the mat. Wiggle out the legs, bend the knees. We'll inhale, bring the arms up. We're going to do a quick side to side and then back to the middle, fold it forward, Uttanasana. Exhale, come down to the mat. We can make our way onto the seat and then pop right up to Navasana. Engage the core, find the Kali Mudra. You can hover the heels close to the floor, maybe up high, you can find the legs straight, and then on your own, maybe you go side to side. Maybe you don't twist at all. And imagine the side body engaged as we have our mudra and arms out. You can bring the heels up and down. Just feel that core active. And now exhale to lower the feet with control. And you bring the hands to the side. And then exhale, bring those legs long out in front. Good. Let's bring maybe the left leg out, kind of at an angle, and bring the right foot in. So maybe the right foot's on the inside of that thigh. Yeah, we're going to inhale to reach up for the sky. Maybe find Kali Mudra if you want, or you can keep your hands apart. And notice the side body engage. Let's exhale, turn that heart towards the foot, and then hinge forward. The fingertips point towards the foot, or they frame the foot, maybe loosen a hinge a little bit. A side body stretch. Keep that sit bones grounded, that right sit bones will ground. It's a little side body stretch. John is your shasana. And then the exhale, rise up. Good. Inhale at the top. Exhale, flip the arms down. Really nice job, guys. Send the right leg out, the left leg comes in. Find those six bones grounded, moving away any extra. <laughs> Inhale, bring the arms up above. Find your mudra. Exhale to turn that heart towards the foot and then bow and reach. Point towards the toes, towards the foot. 
You're noticing the low back stretch a little bit. If you reach for the foot, it's in here. And exhale, sigh. Let's inhale, rise, keep that foot flat. And bring everything to center, the heart, the shoulders, float the hands down. Now let's extend, bring that right knee up and out, extend both legs, and let's make our way down our backs. So however you want to get there, you can pull to one side and then come down. Find the back body, all the earth. You can hug the knees into the chest. Another little offering for that low back. Now let's send our legs long. And now bring everything over to the right side of your mat. So feet, hips, shoulders, and the right side of the mat. Keep the hips glued to the right side, but move those feet over towards the left corner. And then bring the arms up over the head and move the hands and the arms towards that left corner for banana asana. So you look like a little banana on your mat. You could bring that right foot to cross over the left if you want. You can find the left hand you can grasp that right wrist. Just opening up that side body. Breathe in. Exhale, breathe out. And you bring the arms and the head back to the right side. Bring the feet back to the right side, the legs. And go out the feet, the toes, and then bring everything over to the left side of the mat. So peel yourself over. Get it peeled, but in the peel. On the left side, bring the feet over towards that right corner. And cross the left foot over the right foot. Bring the arms up over the head. And then over towards the right corner. And then just rest. And stretch. One more breath in, wherever you're at. On an exhale, bring everything back kind of towards the left side, but now we'll rest in Shavasana. So wherever you kind of land, but kind of undo your banana shape. Let your back rest, hips flow back, back to the legs. Side. Our Kali Mudra can be a reminder throughout our day today. We can find that mudra at our desks. When we're sitting, maybe even when we're walking. But let that be a reminder that we can sing into that hairbrush. And we can express what we need to express. Of course, kindly. And in a himsa way, a non-harming way, but our Kali Mudra, knowing that it supports us in our ability to bubble up and to bring up what we can express. One more deep breath in, ladies. Exhale, sigh. Now let's roll over to one side. Press up to a seat. There's no rush to get there. Find it whenever you find it. Now pause. And exhale. Maybe find a Kali Mudra one more time. 
Everybody have a beautiful day. The divine light in me sees, honors, and supports the divine light in each of you. Namaste. Thanks, guys. <laughs>